Software Update 3.0. <laughs> you guys think I'm totally crazy now, I do another joke. Now I'm not doing it, yeah. I've seen that there was a 3.0 installed on a car. How it looks like, this is what I'm going to share with you in that video. How possible is it really to get it? What maybe needs to be done that we get it? And what other updates we see at the moment with Fisker, for example, TomTom, what happened with TomTom and stuff like that. This is what you're going to see in that video. I'm Patrick, I will be your host for today and welcome to my channel. What? 3.0? I was surprised as you guys as well. Is it true? Well, mm, I show you right here. I've seen that on Reddit. Maybe some of you have seen already the post, I don't know. And as you can see already, um, he says like, thanks to my tech friends. But most importantly, what could contain the 3.0 update? So looking on this picture right here, you see there is an estimated range with it, which you could put in. Okay, ooh, estimated range. Yeah, as I have to say, I'm not so excited about that. But then you see also you could now change your schemes yeah while opening the car and stuff like that that's something i would say it's even a little bit more interesting as you can see on the picture we're not going mostly into the details here or the guy who posted that is not going into the details yeah then we see our beloved looking forward one pedal drive as you can see here so what pedal drive would be also functional yeah that's would be quite cool, I have to say, because we don't have one pedal drive right now, yeah? And there is also something, as you can see here on that picture, torque vectoring. I was waiting for that feature consistently. It have, um, hadn't been installed from the beginning, and that's a pity. So this is most likely what this guy posted within software 3.0. So if you ask myself, is this going to happen? I would say no, because I'm still sitting with 2.1. I think most of you guys also sitting either with 2.1 or 2.0, waiting desperately for 2.2. And also what we have seen already in the test group, yeah, when you're following up to um, MTB Ranger, for example, which makes um, also content about the Fisker Ocean or my friend Mike um, from the EV Addicted. They have issues with the updates that doggy windows, for example, not working anymore, um, especially on the left hand side. As far as I remember, even when Mike went to a fast tool, he couldn't fix it. Um, so I, I would say let's wait. I think the most or more important question would be what needs to get happened that an update like that would get installed yeah and i was digging a little bit like more into uh, um, the internet and there's a uh, fiscal huron yeah and so these are actually you know like um the you can say programmer of that um software they said most likely 3.0 would cost approximately 450k this is what I, at least i saw rumors in the internet um, I'm still not 100% sure how and whom is going to make the software because it sometimes it looks like that um, the surface is just um, programmed by Fisker and then it was said in some other um, articles that Magna was actually doing the software which I can't believe because I would think that they would mm, have made it better it would just go in line with that they didn't use their parts so it was also something new for them anyhow let's stay with the idea about the costs would be 450k well would you guys pay for software now would you i said also i don't like to throw any money after the car anymore anyhow if an software update yeah would cost about 450k and this is a call to action here for the fiscal owner association maybe we could get american lease also on board because they have um, access to the software and we could share maybe this cost so we would have roughly i would say 10,000 cars on the road 
And then the software update would be just costing $45. And I have to say, taking this into consideration, I would maybe think about to pay $45 for a software update if everybody is on board. But it would be interesting. What would be your limit for a software update? Or would you say, Ooh, um, I don't like to get one because I don't like to get my car bricked? Please leave me that in the comment because it would be very interesting, yeah? There's a reason, by the way, I'm doing also all the polls, yeah? Because this is why we're collecting data, you know, like what you think, um, we like to see the content, stuff like that. So this is something where I have to say, um, it's interesting, yeah? I would not even, um, yeah, leave that idea apart um, even when I said I don't like to invest anymore into that car. But to get maybe um, a lot of feature or even functionality working, for example, still my lane assist is even not working, yeah? For $45, I would maybe think about paying it, yeah? As I said, I would not throw thousands, yeah, of um, euros into, the, in, into that um, car anymore, yeah? Um, I will also hope that people not taking advantage out of it because I don't like to give any single dollar to the Fisker family anymore or to Fisker directly because I feel still, you know, like, um, 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 yeah, you know, like for me, it's the whole thing is an, an scam. Yeah, so I feel very scammed about it because I paid already for these updates when I bought that car, yeah, and most likely you guys as well. And I think especially the, the car owners as myself, which paid 70K, upwards for a Fisco Ocean 1, which expected to have this. They say, I don't like to pay any single dollar anymore. But again, for $45, we could think about, yeah. What else happened with the car so far, yeah? As you can see, there's not too much news, but I can tell you there's something brand new now coming up, started yesterday, yeah. Navigation system, TomTom. Bye-bye, TomTom. As predicted in my previous um, video, TomTom Tom is gone. Um, we don't get any traffic system anymore. I, I know in the US it's still functional. Um, I know also here that FOA is already in contact with TomTom Tom, that we maybe get some functions left. But at the moment it's just a barely map system as I said already 10-15 years ago when you block the navigation system and you put it into your car. There are no updates, there are no traffic, stuff like that. So I think when you like to keep driving within the car, it's now time really to get prepared that we're going to use our mobile phones as navigation system. Yeah, there are a couple of navigation systems around, Google Maps, Waze, whatever, yeah. And secondly, yeah, um, maybe we can look if there's an interface which we can connect to the car because there's something like Mirrorlink or something like that, also in other cars installed. I don't know, I don't have any idea. I have seen a device, I'm in contact with the company because they couldn't tol tell me that Fisker is, you know, like able to give that because that would be also quite good. That's a little tiny box, which you can connect then to your car and it gives you a lot of features, yeah? But again, it needs to be like a jailbreak or whatever, as you can say so, yeah? Beside, you know, like, um, I don't know, still day in chapter 11, liquidation is keep on going. My car is not updated as said already, yeah. Um, at least it works, yeah. <laughs> what I'm seeing in the past is a little bit more battery train. But how, how is your car looking at the moment? What, what do you see with your car? Are you still happy? Are you selling the car? Or even, you know, like I had a guy um, contacted me, he even bought now a car, yeah. So how are you guys handling the next steps with your car? That would be really crucial. Guys, this is it for today. Thanks for your attention. Thanks for listening. I wish you a wonderful day and I hope we see each other soon. Have a great day. Thanks for watching. It means a lot to me. Cheers. Bye-bye.